It has been a long process, which I started uh, with a way to reduce uh, as much as possible uh, the technique of uh, painting when I really start, which is already many years ago in '65. So uh, when I get to a certain point with what I more or less wanted, in the field of uh, painting, I realized that whatsoever you do, you are always, uh, even with a very, very basic kind of object, uh, you are more or less banned and inside a very specific, uh, let's say, system. And that system is framed by the gallery or the museum and I wanted to see if it was possible to continue such a work outside of that frame. And I started then to work mostly in the street. And then, of course, uh, the work I was doing was not possible to be used anymore. And I only kept what was the background of my painting, which was the vertical uh, stripes. So in a way, these vertical stripes, which are always the same since uh, 65, are still used today but in a very different way as soon as I quit what was strictly some uh, way to work with, uh, with painting. Not to say it's not any more paintings because I don't really care or less if it's separate or if it's still part, partly a work as a painting but it's not anymore with the concept of a frame or with a, with a work on, of that sort. And it involves the space and uh, the site. And my idea with using the stripes, it's always to use a reference which is visual and which is being always the same as the quality of a tool. So it's like, as soon as you know it, you can recognize. And when you recognize, you can also calculate. Just uh, an idea, if you start to count all the stripes which are behind me, you will know exactly the size of the wall. So that's one way to, to read and to see the way it's used. Or sometimes, like downstairs, I use it to show the relief from the wall. So then you can just see how many and you have also the size which goes outside of the wall. Just to speak about a few examples.
Christian Eriksen.